Oh boy, lunch at McDonald's. I knew you liked happy endings. We had to get to the McDonald's gang sometime. By this point, I'm pretty sure that we're all familiar with the documentary Super Size Me, about a man who dedicates a month to eating nothing but McDonald's. Anything like the diet sodas to the cheeseburger and the salads. A diet that would consistently be each day, ordering from the breakfast menu, lunch menu, and then a dinner menu. Although by the 15th day, he already showed signs of depressional issues, high blood sugar, and a terrible sex life. All of these had to do with what he was putting inside of his body from this restaurant. But this was all in 2003. So, after 14 years, did McDonald's learn anything from this documentary, or are they still the same way they were before? One of the reasons why this topic comes up more often is because over 50% of America is overweight. But that's not to say that we have it easy over here, because even countries like Saudi Arabia are most likely on their way to that near future. People in the company have always been arguing on who is the fault, but really, both sides couldn't be any more wrong. I guess once McDonald's got him off drugs and chopped two of his arms off, he became a changed man. You can trust the Grimace. Together, Grimace, we could own this town. Wait, who's that guy Grimace is plotting with? It's amazing. A big and tasty for just a dollar? No, it's not true, that son of a bitch. I thought I could trust him. For people, we have to make sure that we eat or else we won't survive. A common survival strategy that any mammal today uses. But there are also things like addiction and just plain loving the things that are sweet that don't benefit anything to our nutritional value. Companies nowadays have already realized this and already use this into their advantage giving you exactly what you want at any time of the day. They simply see it as it's not their fault and that they're just naturally selling a good product. Well, bars send alcohol that's a good product, but it's still bad for you. I mean, it's not like it can kill you, right? Take Morgan, for example. He had ate McDonald's for it nearly an entire month. Now, imagine if he just continued to eat it. Now, obviously, he would have continued to get even sicker and eventually die. Even if he stopped eating it for a while, his body will still recognize it and make him sicker than he was before when he stopped. That's pretty much because more of a good thing is a bad thing. Just like how drinking too much water can kill you. By overloading your system with H2O and getting rid of all of the other stuff that you need, like all your other calories. Although that would happen if you drink 3 gallons in 3 minutes, which is highly impossible. But if you can, you're probably superhuman. Plus, not even the salads are safe. They also contain sugar and as much calories as any breakfast meal. It's Cleopatra and Caesar and they're bringing a salad. How wonderful. So, McDonald's is probably not the best option to keep eating. In fact, we recommend you to shop for grocery items. Because anything from a local grocery store like Ralph's and Albertsons is a lot better than McDonald's. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video and please subscribe and like. Don't worry, I also hate this voice. I'm not going to talk like this anymore. Anyways, see you guys later. Mr. Plumper Jack signing out. Peace. And remember, you don't stop drawing because you get old. You get old because you stop drawing. So keep drawing. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Jesus.